What in the flying fortress of pseudoscientific healthism based nonsense is this comment? Deep breaths, Cornelius. Okay, I'm working on my kindness. If you come to this page with an opposing viewpoint, that's wonderful. But please come here with an open mind, kindness, humility, and quality research to support your arguments. More quality information in the field of nutrition is always a good thing, and I am always happy to learn more. But if you come to my page like this commenter did, assuming that the research you did yourself and your own anecdotal advice is gospel, and you come to berate commenters in my comment section, you are not welcome. Your health experiences and the knowledge that you gain from them are absolutely valid. But because people are individuals, that information only applies to you. I kindly asked this commenter to leave multiple times. She did not. I will block her later, but not before we discuss this. This implication that through the power of thought, you have the ability to rewrite your DNA sequence, heal all diseases internally without any external help. And in this case, type 1 diabetics should be able to regrow beta cells if they just think hard enough. So Juliana, what you're telling me is that you would walk up to a newly diagnosed type 1 diabetic who may be a child or a young teenager who just got a life altering medical diagnosis and you would tell them that it is their fault they have that illness and if they think hard enough, they can just regrow their beta cells and heal themselves. Now that's just atrociously cruel and wildly incorrect. Now all of these diagrams were made by Clara Nosek at your dietitian BFF and if you're not following her, do it now because she is brilliant. Healthism is a concept that was coined by Robert Crawford in 1980, and it's the concept that your individual health is entirely up to you. And it ignores the external societal and environmental factors that impact health, and disregards the fact that some people don't have the privilege of health due to external immutable factors that are out of their control. Now our friend Juliana is here, thinking that your health is primarily determined by free choice, personal responsibility, and a go get em attitude. Where we need to be is over here. Acknowledging that there are many complex factors that determine health, diet being a very small part, others including job status, income, health coverage, housing, safety, and some factors that can't be changed like your genetics. This myth of complete free choice ignores all of these factors and your diet and what you buy at the store, for example, is directly affected by your job status, your income, and how many people you have to feed at home. In contrary, these factors directly impact how much choice you have in regards to your health. The reality of health is that we do have individual choice, but it is inseparable from a sociocultural context. And only focusing on this healthist victim blaming mindset, apart from the pseudoscience, it's not motivating, it's not helpful, and it doesn't make people healthier. So stop it.